Hi guys, Martin speaking, and this is um, my entrance to Spooky Toberfest. Um, so it's my, my introduction video to that, plus um, a general. I know I did an update last week, and it's sort of an addition to that, and, and it's my commitment. Um, I feel if I make a commitment to to you lot, then I might push harder to get things done, and that's what I need more than anything at the moment. Is I just need. I'm I'm really tired at the moment, um, having started a new job and etc. Um, a lot of training involved in this job because I've never done it before. Um, so I'm tired when I come home and whereas I used to be able to rattle a 1500 pin, point Tyranid army out in, in just over a week, now I'm struggling to, to get anything done in a month. So I figure if I push myself and with a bit of support from you guys, um, hopefully I'll get there. Nick, um, Idik Beer, is doing his Tyranid challenge and obviously I've pushed him along with that. Um, Tabletop Painting's doing his Space Wolf Challenge alongside with it. Um, XTS Warzone's doing doing something similar. A, a lot of people have got a lot of things going on, and, and Spooky Toberfest, I watched it last year and didn't take part. People get really involved in it, um, and, and it, it, it does. It just helps push people along. So, on that note, what have I got that, that needs finishing off? Um, my Thunderhawk, that needs finishing. Um, that will be done by the end of the year. Um, I have great faith in the fact that that's going to be done um, my white scars in general need doing, I've still got about 40 odd bikes um, that are white but need all the other detail doing um, so they've been built up from black into the right level of white need all the blacks adding in, the metallics adding in the reds adding in and then washing down and etc etc um, so I'll probably start knocking them out in, in squads of 5 um, may, maybe put videos up on them, I don't know um, they might just feature in like a, a general update video um, plus there's a lot of characters to do, I need to make a new Kisaro Khan, I've got the bits for it, I've got the idea for it, but it's it's it's, it's not up there on my list of priorities. Um, my Death Guard and Nagel Demon Army is too big to have done by the end of the year, it's, it's absolutely huge. But I'm going to rattle away with it, I'm going to finish my Great Unclean one with Plague Hulk, all the bits that I showed in, the, in last week's video. Um, I'm going to crack on with all them and get them done. Um, plus my Imperial Knight is very, 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 very close to being done. Um, I know I keep saying, oh, you will know, be finished for next week and then I put it off. And it's not that I'm putting it off, I am working through the week testing bases. Um, if I don't get the base right on it, I'll never be happy with it. Um, and I, I'm just trying this base out on a lot of Plague Bearers at the moment. Um, and I think I've almost got it right, so one more, one more test run. And if that works, then I'm going to go for broke with it with the knife. Kinda needs to be finished for next week um, because it's Warhammer Fest um, next weekend, and I'm going on the Sunday, which is Golden Demon. And if the base works on the night, I'm going to enter it into Golden Demon. Not because I think I'm a Slayer Sword winning painter. Um, there are, and I'm not looking for. for um, sort of comments or anything from anyone. It, it's literally. The paintwork's not that level of good on it, but what it is, is it's a very current model, um, and it's a relatively unique conversion. I'm not saying many people do Nagel Knights, so I figure if I enter it in, it might just get looked at by a judge or by a photographer, get shot, and who knows, it might make it onto the website, it might make it onto um, Warhammer Visions or something, which would be fantastic. And if not, so what, I've, I've just entered it for the for the fun of it anyway, haven't I? Um, I'm down there anyway, so I may as well enter something, is, is, my, is my theory. Um, so that's happening. Um, so hopefully there will be an update at some point in the next week where you'll be able to see that and it'll be showcased. Um, I'm absolutely made up with the way it looks. Anyway, moving on from that one. Um, the other two things that, that I'm very, very conscious that I need to do is my Star Wars Hammer competition. Um, the two winners for commission paintings were Sven, um, which is Unka and Mike uh, Curious Angelas Curious Orange um, they both decided to have a commission painting um, guys I have started them um, but I've not put the right amount of time into them um, so I will endeavour to get them done this month um, I'm, this is when I am doing the Borge World Space Wolves Venerable Dreadnought um, and that's base coated, um, and that's all that is that was base coated. Now, considering I'd never done Space Wolves before, um, getting that right shade of grey with a hint of blue, um, 
I had to do a load of test marines first so um, I'm happy with the colour that I've got for them now so um, hopefully you'll be happy when, that done, when that's done and they'll, they'll, there'll be something nice on the banner for you um, which hopefully will always remind you of me then um, Mike, um, similarly to Space Wars I've never done Blood Angels before so um, he's red um, sanguinary priest um, is, is what Mike's got me painting up for him he is red, he is shaded and that's where he's up to um, so again, a whole lot of work to do um, massive amount of detail on that little model um, you, you're not, not soft getting me to do that one <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm on with them and, and I aim to have them finished by the end of October um, I think that's long enough then I've had them best part of two months then. so they're getting done and then other bits that, that I've got ongoing, um, or not ongoing, other bits that I need to get done. I need a Nurgle Demon Prince with wings. I do not like the GW Demon Prince. I've got one. I've got one built. I'm primed. Um, just standard build, no conversion really. Bit of posing with the arms. And I've got this one on the sprue. Um, and I just don't like it. Um, I just don't like the model. It's far too static. It's not very customised. But I'm just not a fan. Um, what I am a fan of, however, is this beastie. This is the body of the Jabba Scythe, which is a Warhammer Fantasy um, Chaos model. It's fine cast, and everybody goes on about fine cast saying it's rubbish. I don't think so. I don't mind. I never really have much problem with it. Um, nothing that can't be fixed, especially when it's Nurgle, anyway. So that's going to be the body. Um, I love this detail that comes around here. Um, I can just see it massively I can, I can just i can see it being nagel that's his head can we get it in focus yeah there you go and um it sort of sits on and obviously all, all of the the beard or whatever you want to call it joins up there i'm going to take the horns off i'm going to put my typical mono eye that i do for for my nagel and then i've got horns from my great unclean one scabiathax and a spare because you get two sets of get two options antlers or horns and I've gone with antlers I'm going to put the horn on this guy so he, he fits in with some of my other stuff then nice glowing effect coming out of his mouth that'll be him and then I had a mourn fang um, which is uh, another board world model for um, fantasy and I never used um, he's on my reaver titan um, which you will see next year um, I'll do videos on that um, it definitely won't be this side of Christmas that I get round to my, my titans um but I do intend to, to do them as spring project. But I've got his, this is a horse that, that his claws obviously ripping up off the ground. I know, I know there are no horses in 40k. Um, there are jet bikes, there are all sorts of other things, but there might be horses on a farm. Um, he's from the warp, he might have bloody brought it with him, I don't know. Um, it, it, it doesn't have to make 100% sense, it just looks cool. And what it does, because it's got a flat base to it, it lets it stand so it gives me the height from the base to show that he's flying um, that's the arm that comes with it which I'm going to treat as a leg I'm going to have to sculpt all this in, cut it down and sculpt it in so that it actually fits that bit of blue tack I've been playing with so it will fit as a reverse joint coming down and then that will go on to, to there and it will give the, the impression of height what I need and I need your guys help so some comments down below would be great I need um, another leg. I can cast one of them, just do a mould of it. Cast one of them, see what happens. But it's an eagle, it doesn't have to be the same. It can't be a demon prince leg, because that's too bulky and it, it, it looks wrong. Plus the joints are the wrong way around there. Um, I suppose you could argue that I could do it that way, but I don't like the pose of it then. Um, it, it needs to be reverse jointed, it's very demon-esque to me then, like a goat almost. Um, like proper proper images that we have demons I suppose um, yeah so I need need some more other, other idea for legs so please guys give me some suggestions or if you've got something I can use and you don't want it then hit me up with it um, arm wise the actual hind legs for the Jabba Scythe are going to work lovely for arms again a bit of green stuff to fill them in I'm going to give them a black mace and then the, the bit that I'm in love with um, for it is I've got two sets of um, these wings, so I've got two left and two right wings. Um, I've actually got two of the models. I'm going to put them on. I haven't got 
blue tack on it there at the moment. I'm going to put them on like that. So they'll be like fly wings almost, which fits in with that whole Nurgle feel then. They're very decayed looking wings anyway. Uh, I might even put extra holes in them. Um, that That's going to be my spooky Toberfest, uh, is my winged Nurgle demon print. So I've got to build them and I've got to paint him up um, and I want to do him this month. He's also going to be my entry into something creative for James Logan's channel, James and James and My Stuff, I think his channel's called. Um, he's doing um, a competition which runs until the end of November and all you've got to do is something creative, whether it be a model, a picture, a poem, doesn't matter what it is. Um, I'll put a link in the description to his video and you can win um, a full set of 20 cultists from Dark Vengeance, which will come in great for my, my zombies. Um, so that's him. I'm also I'm going to Warhammer Fest this weekend, uh, next weekend as I've just said. I'm picking up the Demacarian or Demacrion, well, however you pronounce it. Um, Dave, I think, Chuffy calls it. Um, so I'm picking up one of those. Um, so I'll do that for Spooky Toga Fest as well because it's a bit spooky, isn't it? Um, I'm really looking forward to that model. I'm getting a few other bits as well. Um, and I'll show you them when I get back from Warhammer Fest, um, along with Imperial Armor 13, the new Chaos book. I'm getting that. That's what's on the bench, guys. Um, that's what I've got to get through. There, there's a lot, and I know I've rambled on a little bit there. Um, as a final note before I sign off, and I'm aware that obviously I'm up to 12 minutes, Commissar Gamza tells me that it's a good thing to have at least a 10-minute video. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, if I've not bored you to sleep yet, the other thing I feel I should mention is an update. Um, the shop that I want to do um, is beyond on a back burner now for three reasons. Um, one, this new job's taking up so much of my time. Um, two, the premise that I wanted I couldn't get, as I mentioned in a previous video, and there's nothing else out there like I wanted. And my, my business plan is very, very um, specific in its vision. So any old retail unit won't work um, the business just wouldn't work on that model and then third and foremost um, is my wife is pregnant um, we're only at early stages 10 11 weeks um, but we've got baby due in April so the last thing I can be doing is starting a new business adventure um, with financial uncertainty because she'll be coming out to work on maternity and if she gets her way she'll never be returning to bloody work either um, so we've got that going on um, another little one on the way so the shop it's a dream i still want to do it but uh, it, 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 it's years off now um let, let's see where this market is in two years time uh might revisit it there but yeah, that's it for for this long ramble thanks for listening to me guys but any comments for anything i've said put comments in the bottom below um please let me know what your thoughts are a about the leg in the first place um, and B, if you've got ideas for this leg, I, I just really, I don't often get stuck for conversion ideas and I really am stuck. I, he's got a tail as well, I don't think I showed you that at the beginning of the video. I'm going to warp that um, and bend it around so it's a bit bit different than pose. I want it not to look too much like the, the, this model so you can tell where the bits have come from where I don't want to just have that with a pair of wings and, and make, call it a demon prince. Yeah, that's it guys. Um, I say thanks for listening. And... Um, I'll have another update soon on where I'm up to. And um, good luck to everyone who's doing Warboss Tay's Spooky Toberfest. I'll see you all soon. Thanks very much.